Playtime Co. Main entrance, warehouse, make a friend, conveyor system, poppy room, navigation room, game station, train station, trash compactor, play care, sealed lift. What's next? Hello everyone. During the three parts, we visited a huge number of locations. Some of them we ran quickly, and on some of them we spent a lot of time fighting with different toys, not for life, but for death. We studied every location thoroughly, finding more and more different and unusual secrets and pass hacks every time. And each time, from one chapter to another, we go lower and lower. And we don't know where is the end of this Playtime Co. toy factory. What's waiting for us at the bottom? What dark and terrible secret has Playtime Co. has been keeping for decades? Where is the laboratory where these gruesome experiments were conducted? Or is there more than one? And before we start, don't forget to subscribe, put a like, and turn on the bell. It's important for the development of the channel. To make it easier for us, let me give you an analogy of the iceberg. We will move from the top of the iceberg to the bottom, and along the way we will take apart each part of the iceberg. Level 1. The face of the factory. At the very top is the Playtime Cozier's factory. We show up in the main entrance. We find the grab pack. We meet Huggy Wuggy at the Playtime area. We solve different tasks, turn on the lights, Get a second hand, create a toy. Run away from Huggy through the vent, free Poppy. And that's the end of the first part of the game. It would seem that this is the end of our tip of the iceberg. Because all these locations are on more or less the same level. But I will add here the beginning of the second part. Let's remember. For after we have released Poppy, we run the same way through different corridors, even visited Elliot Ludwig's office. Everything is on the same level. It's only after Mommy Long Legs kidnaps Poppy somewhere in the depths that we jump after them and fly down some obscure pipe or tunnel. I don't have much to say on this point. The tip of the iceberg is the face of the company, what all people should have seen. Children, customers, low-ranking employees. To see that this is a popular, growing factory that creates all kinds of toys that bring emotions to children. There is a store, a production facility, a variety of warehouses, a security room, and a management office. What everyone had to see was the face of the company. Level 2. Let's test it. After jumping into the tube, we go down for a very long time. Since it doesn't have any windows or any sort of height scale, we can try to determine how far down we've gone by the amount of time we've been down. And it's not small, given our high rate of descent and we get to the location, Game Station. And this is the main and frequent place where we will be in the second chapter. There are already a bunch of different games here. Obstacles, Musical Memory, Wacka Wuggy, and Statues. All of them are underneath the station, because for each one we go down, but it's not anywhere deep, so they're also on the second level of our iceberg. I didn't find much information on the Game Station, just what it looks like and what is located, but I decided to analyze it. If on the first level, our top level, are the production and the store for selling toys, then somewhere they have to be tested. How they work, how children play with them. And knowing that these big toys are adults and children, tests should be conducted to see how these big bodies will behave in the conditions for which they were created. It's like artificial intelligence in computer games. These games used to test new toy prototypes and then send them higher up for production and sale. And I almost forgot to mention, this is the rejected room, the storage room for toys you don't need. Why is it on the second level? If the management decides to revive some project, you won't have to run to the farthest corner of the factory for it. Everything is at your fingertips. The second chapter ends with us riding a train, but we also move on a horizontal surface. Catnap destroys the train, throws us in the trash. But we return to the top, the same level we were on. We board Elliot's Express and that's where the next most intriguing level awaits us, where we learn a lot about the mysteries of Playtime Co. Level 3. Incubator Descending on Elliot's Express, which takes us to Playcare, we listen to a VHS tape. Most players' attention is caught by this tape. 
Have you been looking around? What's in it? We're driving through a huge cave. I'm not kidding when I call it huge. Look at the size of it. Big stalactites hanging from the top. Huge and stone walls, the bottom of this cave is just impossible to see. And just imagine, such a big cave underneath one factory. That's how many miles down we've traveled. In the center of the cave is a metal sphere, against which we are very, very small, like cockroaches. It's such an unexpected place deep underground. And then we get to play care, the very place where orphan children grew up, lived, played, learned. Look what's inside that sphere. What's behind all those painted walls, clouds, fake sky. It's very frightening and scary knowing that it's not real. And going into that sphere looks scary, like we're going down into hell or the abyss. Slowly we learn that this is not some fun place. It's a place where children are raised to be experimented on. In a previous video, I told you about employee Rich, who learned more and more secrets with each promotion. And he saw this place too and worked here. Check out that clip on the upper right. Throughout the entire third chapter, we run around the same level, and you'd think, we're almost to the center of the earth as it is, there's nowhere deeper to go. But no. At the end of this chapter, the developers send us even lower. A school, a playroom, a bunch of offices to manage and monitor the kids, storage of red smoke, and a pipe to further spread to the kids. And you know, with each level, I feel more uneasy, more anxious, and more afraid. And I'm afraid to imagine what awaits us there. Level 4 But we never got to see the very experimental lab where the playtime scientists did their creepy experiments. We can see them on VHS tapes. Look at Kissy Missy. Look at Braun. As I've said before in other videos, it's like the Resident Evil series, where at the end of each installment we find a secret umbrella lab, where the scientists were experimenting with a virus. In Poppy Playtime, everything goes to the same scenario. If the next installment is the last one, which I'm not sure it will be, we'll stumble upon the very place where the scientists are doing their experiments on children for Project Big Bodies. And what do we find there? Lots of blood, lots of recordings of those events, conversations between scientists and management. More and more secrets will be revealed. I'm sure that's where Prototype creates his huge toy monster from different body parts. Like Frankenstein's monster. After all, he wasn't just taking full bodies or remnants of bodies with him. In a huge flask filled with a strange liquid and attached to life support machines. I'm afraid to imagine what that would look like, and I get creepy. If we remember the letter with the flower, we see that they are still here. It's not clear who they are. Maybe they are the employees who were able to escape during the massacre in the hour of rejoicing. But how did they live so deep for 10 years, given that food is scarce? Either their bodies or they've become unhinged, or they, meaning a small group of good toys who are terrified of what's going on around them, and they're trying to save themselves. What do you think yourself? Post your guesses in the comments. And now we can map out the locations. I think that this is not the last level, and the next fourth chapter is not the last. Even if we defeat Prototype, save the rest of whoever is left, there will be a deeper and more unexpected plot twist waiting for us. Thank you for watching. If you like this theory, then put a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on the next video for a more detailed look into the Poppy Playtime universe.